everyone. So today we're going to be talking about the five books that I highly recommend for actors, whether you're a seasoned professional or just getting started or you're a student, or even if you're just curious about what a career in acting looks like. And these aren't just books about the business of acting. Um, there's one about technique and then there's another about um, just a way to keep your mental health and sanity intact. So this is by no means a comprehensive list, but I really think this list is a great way to get started or just to continue whatever, wherever you are on your acting journey. So please join me as I go through the five books that I recommend for actors. So the first one here, you'll see The Actor's Life. This is by Jenna Fisher. This is actually her autobiography. And I loved this because it is a no holds barred, very honest approach to how she started her acting career and how she built it. And it took a, it took a while. It took her about eight years from the time she graduated college with her theater degree intact all the way to when she moved out to LA. It's really funny. She's just so candid about it. She talks everything from her early work and her acting work to how she she got her SAG card, um, just all the little projects she did just to continue making connections and how she eventually got to the audition for her biggest career break, which was The Office. So I highly recommend The Actor's Life by Jenna Fisher. It's actually a very quick read, but there's it's chock full of information. Even though she started in the era when like digital was not really a thing yet, she has updated everything. So it's very, very relatable relevant to what actors are doing now for actors anywhere. The Actor's Life by Jenna Fisher, highly recommend for especially the theater actors. But um, I would say it's really good for just any actor, honestly. I find that actors don't pay enough attention to the words that they speak and use. So not only does this teach you the ins and the outs of Shakespeare, thinking Shakespeare, that's what it's called. I call it the Shakespeare Bible. So valuable, I think, for understanding not only how you say something, which how you say something is you, you know it because of what you are saying and why you're saying it. So thinking Shakespeare is a great read, even if you don't plan on going into a career with lots of Shakespeare in it. And I resort, I reference it all the time. It just, it gives me so much information and I always find something new every single time I read it. How to be a working actor. Now it even says in the beginning, it says, this is not for people who, this is not a book on how to get rich and famous. This is a book on how to be a working actor. Working actor, not rich, not famous. That can happen, sure. Things like your wardrobe and how to get a headshot that really brings out what you want in your headshot and how to create a resume. Finding the right training programs after you graduate from school. Actors, once they've graduated, they think, well, I have my degree and I don't need to do anything else, right? Uh, no, we always need training even after we graduate from school or whatever training program. So they really kind of drive that point home. This is very much your craft, treating this like a business as well. Um, you'll also get things like communicating effectively with agents and managers, um, getting the most value out of the union membership. If you don't know a lot about unions, that's understandable because I didn't either. So this book really taught me a lot about how SAG, Screen Actors Guild works, the Actors Equity Union for stage performers, how that works. So that's very, very important. And then also things like excelling at auditions and screen tests and discover how to get work in regional market. Um, if you're working hard, you will be successful. Everyone is different. Success is different for everyone. But I really think this is something that everyone needs in their arsenal just to reference back to. I own the fifth edition. There might be an updated version because I know this is about eight years old and see if there's a more up-to-date version because uh, this is the fifth edition. All right, so this is kind of a two-part series here. If you are an actor or really an artist of any kind, you have to have the artist's way. The artist's way, they go through um, a chapter a week. She talks about just understanding what your purpose is within the art that you've chosen. It talks about taking risks. It really develops your sense of confidence and understanding that art not only is a business like we learned in this last book, but that it's also your spiritual journey, your calling. I know this has helped me immensely with my confidence and with risk taking because in the arts world, it is risky. We are always doing taking some sort of risk that could pay off or it could not. And so I think just being confident in who you are as an artist and not being afraid to fail and really seeing that as this time to learn and grow. And you can see this book is a little torn up because I use it constantly. I'm always, you know, highlighting things and like really pulling it apart because I want to know everything. 
So with that, to accompany the Artist's Way, we have the Artist's Way workbook. I am actually very happy that I have it. I like being able to have a book to accompany the other book. Because in the Artist's Way book, they give you exercises and challenges and like writing exercises to work with. Having the Artist's Way workbook is you can write in and put whatever you want in and reference back to. And actually, I even suggest making copies within this book so that you can go back to those pages when you want to read The Artist's Way again. And going back to this book, these two together, I think that you should read this book every two years because as we know, our careers, our lives are always changing and going through ups and downs. And I think being able to reference that book, this is basically how to do this. And this book is why we do it. So The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. And those are my five picks for books for actors. If you have any other books that you think like Blair, you really missed it, please comment below and you know write recommend it to me. Write down the title and the author and I will happily go and look at it, read it, review it, and post about it next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this and if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, tell your friends. Thank you so much. Bye.